everyone! So, in one of my recent Reads videos, I spoke about the book What My Mother and I Don't Talk About. I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable because I'm crouching down here and I just don't know if the light is just being really weird. But anyway, I'm trying to do this before I pop out quickly. Um, maybe I'll sit myself here and see how that works out. But I spoke about one of the books What My Mother and I Don't Talk About and when I was editing the video I realised I was going off on some... I wasn't going off on a tangent but I was talking a lot about the one book and talking about some of the stories that I really liked. And I thought of in instead of including that in that video which was meant to be you know a recent read and reviewing a couple of other books. I thought instead I would just put up this video where I just introduce the fact that I'm talking about some of the stories in that book and yeah if you're interested in actually reading the book or listening to the book because I listen to it on script then you can go and do that and you can just sort of hear about my um, favourite um, stories from it. In a way it's a bit like a review video except you know I just talk about my favourite stories and why I love those stories so much. Um, but yeah I just thought why not pop it up on the channel because it's all bookish related content. I guess I'm gonna round this up by talking about the essays that I did like. I will try and be very brief on them. Um, the same story about my mum is to do with a girl who I guess just doesn't get on with her mum. Her mum's like a high powered lawyer um, at times when she's been suffering with depression and just when she's been a misfit and not just really get I guess been well behaved it's the response that she gets from her, her mother the coldness that she receives the lack of love and it's very interesting because she says that I think it's in the same that her mother is really good with her grandchildren and it's just that coldness and how she can't really get on with her mother um and exploring that relationship I think there's a lot to be said for things like that and I think a lot of relationships are like that and I just think it was just so nice um how this also and a lot of these I think are read by the people who write them sometimes they're not they're actually read by i think michelle philgate who is the person who i think essentially curated this all together and has the first essay um but other times they're read by those people and you can just hear it in their voices like how painful this is the next essay by kiesa layman um while these things slash feel american to me this was one of the essays that i thought perhaps didn't directly belong in this essay collection i could see that it definitely was about his mother but there are other aspects that weren't and it starts off very much not being about his mother um, and then it slowly does sort of feed into it and it's just so eye-opening it's heartbreaking it's shocking and i think his, his memoir is basically this and more and it's going to break my heart to read it but oh my god he talks a lot about the facts like i don't know if you if you've heard about his memoir his memoir is about being heavy like physically heavy but then also like the heaviness of emotions but he talks a lot about being overweight in here he talks about sexual abuse about violence oh my god it's heartbreaking like i'm walking around listening to this and i'm just like this is horrible um absolutely phenomenal the essay called mother tongue by carmen maria machado um is oh my god so many so many aspects for me to relate to again talking about sort of her negative relationship with her mother and it's very interesting because it's never like I guess it's something that she doesn't understand so she can only talk about what she is getting from her mum but she talks about the fact that she had finished like uni and gone home and her mother was constantly like you, know, you can't just sit at home doing this there were so many like rules put in place even though she was a grown-ass adult like about eating in her room and it just from the story listening to it you can just sense the level of violence um in her mother's words and I guess that's what it's called it talked about it being called mother chant which I find so freaking fascinating because I used to write poetry and one of the sort of titles I had was just like around mother's tongue because of the sharpness it can be um, and I, I thought this was just a really nice exploration of her relationship with her mother and it does close with her saying you know in order for her to be who she is she she has to not talk to her mum because she couldn't understand a lot of the things that happened and there had never been any sort of apology there was just so much in here that i related to that i just i couldn't get over it it wasn't like i was reading my story but it was like i was reading parts of my story um and not to say it normalizes things but it makes you very aware that you're not the only one that experiences certain things another story that I really enjoyed was are you listening and that is by Andre Asiman. Um, this one was just very interesting. He is him talking about his mother being deaf and what's that like growing up with a mother who is deaf. Um, but he also goes back into her history and were like what it was like for her growing up. Um, I think he said that she was like Jewish and then she grew up in Egypt and it was just such horrible treatment for someone who was deaf. And then he obviously talks about just being a kid, you know, sometimes maybe feeling angry about the fact that she was deaf or like playing tricks on her. Um, it was just yeah it was a very interesting animation just something i just never considered but again that's what i mean by this essay collection is so multifaceted it's just an exploration of relationships with mothers on so many different levels that you probably couldn't even conceive because they are not um 
situations that you have been exposed to. The final explanation that I like was Her Body Slash My Body by Naomi Minerira. This essay collection was so shocking for me in terms of those so many bits I related to, but largely I didn't. It was just shocking. It was just shocking on so many levels. And I guess if you want to read this essay collection and you don't want this bit to be ruined for you, I would just pause and skip over this bit because I don't know how much I can actually share how shocking it is without actually talking about its content. Um, it's talking about her and I think her family are from Sri Lanka, maybe, it could be like, and they moved to the United States, so it's her, her younger sister, her dad and her mum. Her mum, um, I guess, suffers with severe mood swings who, um, and something she later figures out in life through therapy and her own, I guess, her own explanation is borderline personality disorder um, and that just, I just feel like it covers their whole life. There are so many mood swings, so many tragic, traumatic moments in their lives um, as a result of this. Like, their mum didn't know what was happening to her either. But obviously, you have children, you have a responsibility to keep them safe, to shelter them. And it's just about that and how, you know, there's a point where she does say to her mum, like, I think you might have this and convince her. This is when she's much older. Her mum's kind of like, yeah, sort of maybe reads that and then puts it away in a shelf because where she's from it's just not done like where she's from i think they speak about the fact that when someone has mental illness you lock them away in a house and that is it they do not come out and it was so heartbreaking it was so heartbreaking to see the effects of what um their mother's illness had done to their own lives i think there's just some parts of your childhood that you possibly cannot recover from because you just never had that and yeah it was entirely shocking hopefully by sharing like just those bits of those essays like that gives you an indication of the sort of I guess the depth of this essay collection. A lot of the other essay collections might um, resonate with other people. Some of them just didn't resonate with me. I was just like, I don't really care. Um, but I can see some of them were quite romantic. A lot of them were quite romanticised. Um, and it was just interesting to see other people's relationships with how they view their parents. So obviously I didn't get to film an outro for that video because it was part of the recent reads. So I'm filming it now. So if you made it to the end of that video, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video. Bye.